The Black Adams Hawkman actor Aldous Hodge has reacted to the news that Peter Safran and James Gunn have been hired by 600 Studios. The DCU only had one new movie coming out in 2022, but Black Adam introduced a number of new heroes to the constantly expanding series. One of them was Carter Hall the Hawkman, who was a key figure in the Justice Society of America. The DC superhero has previously appeared on television in episodes of Smallville and Legends of Tomorrow, but Hodges Hawkman is the first time he has been shown on a large screen. The Black Adam actor was recently questioned by Collider on the new approach of DC Studios, which officially began on November 1 with Gunn and Safran as the new CEOs. However, Hodge has nothing but respect for the Guardians of the Galaxy director overseeing the DC Universe, as DC Studios are presently outlining their 10-year strategy for the property. When questioned if Hodge and Gunn had met yet, the Hawkman actor stated that they haven't had any interactions. He said, No I haven't spoken to James. As far as the reaction, I know James has done some really great work with Guardians of the Galaxy and Suicide Squad, so it gives me a great deal of confidence in what his vision can be for DC. I'm looking forward to seeing what he and Peter Safran come up with, and I'm definitely looking forward to continuing to tell these stories about the JSA Black Adam universe. It's funny, I haven't run into James in a bit, but first remember meeting James randomly one time, years ago, when I was over at my god sister's house. We were all playing a game called Mafia, and James was actually teaching us how to play. He probably wouldn't remember, but it's funny to think about that, now that we're at this level. Back then, I never would have imagined that would be the case. Now, working with that guy in this big of an arena is pretty awesome. The actor and the producers of Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam have been emphasizing that this is just the beginning for these characters, including the JSA, ever since the film's impending debut in theaters. Although DC Studios will have Gunn and Safran oversee motion pictures, television shows, and animated films, they are not launching a new storyline or revamping the DC universe. Instead, the production team will emphasize on characteristics that have served the franchise well thus far while avoiding those that haven't worked out well for them, giving the franchise a superior organizational framework. Johnson has made it clear that the plan with their introductions in Black Adam was to ultimately pursue spin-off projects, whether it would be spin-off movies or TV shows that would live on HBO Max. Time will tell where Warner Brothers. Discovery will take these specific characters given recent rumors that Black Adam's final movie office numbers were having issues. There is no reason why Hodge couldn't feature in other DCU films that will be produced under Safran and Gunn's direction even if Black Adam 2 doesn't materialize. As Gunn and Safran lay out their decade-long plan for the brand, it will be interesting to see where Hawkman, Black Adam, and the other JSA characters end up in the DCU. Even though Black Adam may not have performed well at the box office, Hawkman was a plus for the movie and is one of the most well-known characters the DC Universe has introduced lately. There is a lot the DC Universe can accomplish with these characters. Black Adam has only begun to touch the surface of what they are capable of. Whether they have their own DCU TV show, similar to John Cena's Peacemaker, or a movie. Hawkman and the other members of Black Adam will hopefully soon find homes in the DC Universe thanks to DC Studios.